Hello everybody, it's Ace Coden here and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a football header game on scratch. You use you use the mouse to control the footballer and you have to try and get as many headers as you can. The ball can't touch the red. If the ball touches the red, it's game over. Let's now make it. First, choose a backdrop. It can be any backdrop that you like. I'm going to choose Soccer 2. Next, choose a sprite. This is going to be the sprite that's going to be doing the headers. And I'm going to choose... I'm going to choose Ben. Delete any of the costumes you won't be using as we wouldn't need them. Now choose one last sprite. This is going to be the sprite that your character is going to be header in. I'm going to look for football. Now, we want the sprite that's going to do the headers to stay at the bottom. So get a one green flag click block. Go to motion and get to go to. So when we click the green flag to start our project, it's going to go to X minus 181 and Y minus 108. Remember, X is from left to right and Y is from top to bottom. This just means that when we click the green flag, it's going to go over here. Now we want it so that when we move our mouse, it can go anywhere at the bottom. So now we want get a one green flag clicked. Get a forever block and go to no get go to motion no actually go to sensing get a mouse X now go to motion and get a set X put the mouse X inside so now this means that Set in this X, the Ben's X. So X is from left to right. So his X, which is over here, it's setting it to mouse X. So now the mouse X is from, is the mouse. So it's setting it's his X to mouse X, which means that it's going to go wherever the mouse goes. And since it's a forever loop, he won't stop doing it. Now we want to control the football. We want it to start over here. Go to events. Get a win green flag click. And then go to motion. And get a go to X5 Y 146. This is over here. Now go to events and get a for no go to control and get a forever. What if we put something inside here? It's going to run forever. So now forever, we want it to keep on moving. So forever moves ten ten steps. And we want it so that if it goes to the edge, it bounces off. But now, it just bounces side to side. 
So get a point in direction 45, which is south, no, which is north, east. But when we code it, it just stays here. So hmm. So we want it so that if it moves 10 steps, then when on, if it's on edge, it bounces. So you don't need a point in direction. Now we want it so that if it touches his head, it bounces off. So now, get a if go to sensor and get a touch in Ben I know so the code before it means that it's gonna move ten steps so it's gonna move on whatever axis it it is in it's gonna move ten steps and when it hits the edge it bounces off now, we, if we want it to, t when, if it touches Ben, we want it to bounce off. To do this, go to motion and get to point in direction 180. Or forty five. Yes, then we want it to point in direction forty five, which is northeast. So if it hits the head, it only goes that way. If you want to make it go both ways, go to operators and choose a pick random. Minus 45 to 45. These numbers are anywhere from here all the way to here. It can't go past here or it's going to be below his head and you can't head of something if it's below your head so now it goes anywhere now we want it so that if it headers our score increases make a new variable you can name it whatever you want I'm going to name it headers variables are blocks they're the blocks that record data in scratch it's recording how many headers we have so now go to the soccer ball get to change headers by one and put it before the point in direction pick random minus 45 to 45 So now if we header it, our headers increase. Put away 0 0.01 seconds because sometimes our headers increase by too much if, our, if the ball stays on our head for a long time. So do wait 0 0.01 or 0 0.02. I'm going to do 0. 
0.02. So it's just going to wait a tiny bit of amount before it can count the next one, the next header. And by the time it counts the next header, the ball would have already moved off Ben's head. So it couldn't, so it wouldn't be able to count the next header anymore. So now, if we header the ball, it still goes up by too much. So change it to 0 0.05 or just 0 0.5. Change it to 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 so that the ball doesn't just stay on his head. You can do whatever number you want. But make sure that it doesn't count up by too much. So now, we want it so that when we restart the game, our head is set to zero because the new game has started and everything has to reset. So at the start of your script, put a set headers to zero. Now we want it so that if it goes below his head, it's game over. Go on the backdrops and make a line. It can be whatever colour you want. But make sure the line is just on his neck or below. It can be whatever colour you want. I'm just going to make it a dark red. So now go to the soccer ball. Go to green flags and get her forever. From control. Get a green flag block and then get a forever from control and then get an if. Go to Sensen and get a touch and colour. Do the same colour as whatever the colour of the line was, which is red. So if it's touch and colour red, then we want the whole game to stop. So you can get a stop all from control. So now this whole script means that when we click when we click the green flag every time, if it touches this colour, the colour red, it stops the whole game, it stops everything, it stops all. So now if we test our game, if it touches the red, it stops everything. And we can get some headers. But if it touches the red, it's game over. And if you click the green flag, our headers will our headers will reset. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something new. Remember to like, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.